this picture and I wanted to include these words and then it just kind of like clicked on me. I was like, wait a second, she's doing graffiti. This is what I do. Like this is, she's writing on walls. This, this country was engineered for a certain type to succeed and a certain type to stay under. For, for, for someone that's already on the succeeding track to step off that track and come back down here and be like, I'm with you, I'm, I'm gonna do what I need to do. And that's exactly what Sophie did. I mean, to, to die for it, literally. Um, so there is no greater you know example of that for them to even try to battle the, the larger machine of propaganda with their you know, homegrown means. Um, I couldn't only imagine the challenge there. But one thing that stuck to me about doing the research and what happened is that those pamphlets that they wrote um, ended up um, being reproduced in the millions. And then they just flew over Germany and just like dumped them. So, I mean, if she could have been alive for that, you know, I think she would have been like, oh, it's so worth it, you know? And then and then I was so inspired off of that. That's kind of with my my piece. I um, wanted to include the, the pamphlets, but I made them transform into these birds because what she was doing by herself physically is not a proper representation of what, how powerful and where this message traveled to. It went around the world. Um, and even now, we're talking about it like, you know, decades, decades later, it's like, it's, it's, it's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, it's, it just goes to show like the power of an idea. It's, it's a, you know, the power of, a, of, of truth, I should say. Um, but it won't be denied. Truth will not be denied. It might take a while, but it will, it will come out and it will prevail. I think that's how it's gonna hit in Atlanta, where you're gonna see the messaging, there it is, but it's presented from a different, not only a different time period and historical point of view, but just from a different perspective in a whole. And, it, and I hope that it points out like, look, this is, this is like a, a global issue. It's a humanity issue that we need to stop treating others like less and stop trying to take advantage of other people so we can get ahead. Stop stepping on people and holding people down. Um, and hopefully just like, just a, a, little, a little tilt on the perspective and hopefully just make it, um, I mean, at this point, anything that can just take you there is a good thing, you know? So hopefully let's put a little twist on the perspective and I think people are gonna really appreciate it. Like, the messaging is so powerful. It's, I mean, and, and, it's, and it's an echo of what people are trying to say now, just different circumstances, you know? Um, and I think it's obvious. I think people will get it right off the bat, especially here in Atlanta. I mean, especially in this area, especially Cabbage Town, which I consider Ca Cabbage Town the mecca of murals for Atlanta. And I consider Atlanta one of the meccas for street art in our time now um, because of how accepting it is around here and watching the change that it's made. Um, so it's... It's, it's good timing, uh, the, the placement of it is awesome. I, I can't wait to hear what the responses are. And um, I'm just really happy to be part of it. I really feel like, I just feel like the timing is perfect. For people that are familiar with my work, I paint ballerinas a lot. Um, for that reason, they, they seem very um, like fragile uh, at first like at first glance, but um, once you really get to know, <laughs> you know, what a real ballerina is, they are not fragile at all. They're, um, they're dedicated, fierce athletes that are determined beyond um, most people's like reasoning. <laughs> they, they literally sacrifice their body, uh, you know, to, for the art, you know, to, of self-expression. Um, and I didn't, I didn't think of that, but now that you say it, um, I mean, that's the perfect analogy. And she's out here taking chances, changing the world and flexing the power that she has as an individual. 
um, you know, it's 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 pretty powerful. You know what? She she's doing what I do. I I I felt I just felt like it was a, a deeper connection now, right? So I was like, dude, I'm just gonna make I'm just gonna make her the action hero, and have her just spraying it. And then I was like, but I don't want to let go of the idea of the of the pamphlets and the birds. And I do. I mean, these letters here are really are really the core of what she what they created, what she distributed, and then what they did um, by reproducing and you know uh, pouring these letters all over uh, Germany um, afterwards. So I wanted to include that. So that's why I was like, well, let me just give her a duffel bag, and I made it. Um, it's kind of like a messenger's bag. Like messenger's bag have that flip. Like if you're if you're delivering mail. So I wanted that to mean that, not like just a regular duffel bag. Obviously, I took her out of her time period because I'm pretty sure they didn't have like zippers and uh, that particular style bag. And I know for sure they didn't have spray cans. Uh, well, I know now. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I have her spraying. Um, I'm not done with the piece yet. And basically, I just wanted to capture this like action scene of her at her best doing her thing. It was a great experience, like just sitting here, like doing the research and 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 also like just trying to think like, man, like if this if this was to happen now, if they put us on martial law or, you know, if, if things got that extreme, like even me just challenging myself or even asking myself like like would you really do that like would you you know i mean i've done crazy stuff like hung off crazy things for the sake of art and you know painted illegally for sure and like had that adrenaline rush of running away from security or looking out for the cops and all that um and that's for the sake of art or for the sake of what we're trying to do so you know take that and plug in a for real life or death uh, mission um, man I could see like if things get serious out here I could say for Atlanta for sure the artists here uh, you know we will hit the streets like it's, it'll be it'll be a sight to see yeah no 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 we, we, um, yeah they don't want to I don't think they want to come to Atlanta first they probably want to <laughs> start somewhere else <laughs> you know like yeah it would be it would be wild here like I love the idea of like changing the future by referring to the past. I, I, that's what I got out of this. And I really, really like that. And I, I wouldn't be surprised to see more of that in my work in the future, for sure. Like, that was the biggest pleasure I got out of, out of this thing.